Hello everyone, good morning, it's Lindsay Ann, and today we have the day off, it's Saturday, but midterms are next week, so today is a grind day. After finally getting out of bed, I go to the bathroom and start getting ready. I used to never really brush my hair because it's so thin, so it doesn't really get tangled, but recently I have been using a bit of a texture spray, you know, gotta voluminize it a little bit, so it gets tangled a lot faster. But for a quick overview of the day, we have to make breakfast, Workout. I've been trying to be a lot more consistent with my workouts, so we're gonna get a quick run in today. Study with my friend at a cafe and hopefully end the day on the beach. Currently, I'm in my junior year of college, and these days I've been feeling a bit anxious about the end of my college years because sometimes I feel like I'm not taking advantage of the resources and connections around me. For example, even being in LA, I usually just stay on campus. I don't really go out to explore except maybe on the weekends. So today we're really gonna try soak in the LA and the college experience before I turn into that 25 year old at the tailgate. Anyways, in the mornings, I try to get some chores done and clean up around the apartment. Today I had some laundry I had to do, so I loaded that up while I made some breakfast. For the past couple weeks, I've been solely eating yogurt and fruit for breakfast. I feel like a cow or something. Not that they eat yogurt, but it's more of a nebulous thing. So today we are switching up with some oatmeal instead. Of course, I also have to make my morning coffee. I've just been mixing some oat milk with Starbucks coffee and it hits y'all for real. Also, gotta be honest, but I'm only making my bed for the video. I literally never make my bed. It's my junk drawer of the room, but I just ate that while catching up on some work and I like to plan things out in my Notion as well. Hi guys, so today is Saturday. It is the first day of October, my birthday month, and we are gonna start this month off right. As you can tell from my last video, I was going through it. I was definitely, I was going through it. But we are on the the incline, the climb up. We we're working on ourselves, okay? And today we have a lot of things we have to do because next week is midterms week, and my room's an actual mess right now because you know shit happens. Je voudrais du soleil vert, des dentelles et des tiers. Des photos de bord de mer Dans mon jardin d'hiver Je voudrais de la lumière Comme en Nouvelle-Angleterre Je veux changer d'atmosphère Dans mon jardin d'hiver for a quick clothing haul. Thank you so much to Love Bonito for sponsoring this part of the video. I'm gonna try on the things I got from them and show you how everything fits. So I got a few pieces to transition to the fall time. Love Bonito has it all. They design all their clothing to empower confidence through style. I really love the material and fit of this sweater. I think it's a great staple piece for colder weather. Love Bonito also creates really flattering styles that are simple and comfortable and neutral that go with every single outfit and fits your budget. I think Love Bonito is a great place for basics and essentials because they're known for their minimalist chic basics and functional clothing that can be dressed up or down. In this way, it's different from other brands because it's both affordable but really good quality. Like each piece feels very well thought out from the design to the material. I'm also in love with this trench coat. I think it's such a chic design for fall and pairs perfectly with like a cute mini skirt or a staple pair of jeans. New customers who join the LB community will receive a $15 off welcome gift card with a minimum spend of $40 from September 19th until the end of the year, December 30th. So upgrade your closet with clothes made to fit you today with Love Bonito. You can go to the link in my description and use the promo code LBXLNCN for 10% off your first order of $130 or more. Thank you Love Bonito for sponsoring this part of the video. We 
are, I have no idea where we are right now, but we're going to Great White for brunch. It's like a little past Cape Town. Outfits of the day, sleigh. <laughs> So I was with my friend Sophie that day, and like I said, we were trying to go to a brunch place, but on the walk there, I found a white wall I wanted to take pictures in front of. So Sophie helped me take some pictures before we went to Great White, but the line ended up being so long there, so we actually walked to a nearby farmer's market instead. I haven't been at a farmer's market in so long, but when I was in high school, I worked at one for four summers in a row. My sister and I started a charity, like every other overachieving Ivy League hopeful, and in order to fundraise, we worked at a stand at our local farmer's market selling rolled ice cream and boba. And, you know, I'm not saying we pioneered boba in the Michigan suburbs or anything, but literally no one knew what it was back in 2016, so we had to explain to like a bunch of white people why there are black balls in their drinks. Anyways, I just ended up getting some croissants and a crepe, and we had a mukbang in the car. After getting food, we went to a cafe to get some work done. I have my econ midterm next week, so I had to finish this 100 question practice test. Please explain to me how the solo model works, guys. Like, please, I need help. Meanwhile, Sophie is literally just practicing for her drum midterm. After working for a couple hours, I dropped Sophie off at her work and I had the rest of the evening to kill. I decided to go to Venice because I've actually never been to that area and I went to another cafe to hop on a Zoom call for a group project. There are actually so many cute cafes and shops around Venice and walking around really reminds me of my time in New York when I just had fun exploring by myself. But around this time was dinner so I went to the butcher's daughter to get some pad thai for takeout and drove to the beach to see the sunset. Mon amour. I think I realized the importance of romanticizing your life. It's cheesy and cliche and everyone knows it by now, but if you ever feel like your life is plateauing or you just feel down, just go on a date by yourself. I'm being 100% serious when I say this is probably one of the best days I've had in a while. And one thing that's recently just clicked for me is that you don't need to be around other people to have an excuse to have fun. You can just go to the beach, take yourself out to a nice little dinner, and read that book you've been wanting to start all by yourself. You know, I've been feeling like my life has been plateauing a little bit in the past week, but I think something just clicked for me that it's really just all about like mindset. It's a complete mindset shift. I feel like I, for so long, always operate in like this scarcity mindset. I'm always focusing on what I don't have instead of appreciating what I do and taking advantage of like the opportunities in front of me. Like I could literally just go out and take a surfing class right now, even though I have no idea how to swim and it could be the most fun I ever have. Like there's just so many things that I could do to pull myself out of this plateau I've been feeling recently and I don't know I think that's definitely something that I'm going to work on for the upcoming semester is just really focusing on mindset and practicing gratitude because I definitely used to be that person that like always like oh like gratitude yeah 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 like I'm, I'm thankful for this I'm thankful for that but never really took it seriously but I think that as I've grown up and experienced more mental struggles than I ever thought that I would it's gratitude is such an important thing to realize and to have in your life I'm sorry if this wasn't that coherent but I just hope that the takeaway from this is the world truly is at your fingertips and go take advantage of it before it's too late you don't need anyone else to have fun except yourself but yeah that's the end of my video I really hope that you guys enjoyed and inspired to take on life with a new tone, but I'll see you guys next time. Bye.